for these few minutes. But there, there, there's a problem in the four Gospels. All right. I know you don't normally hear preachers talk like this, but pray for me. Come on now. Pastor, please pray for me. Pray for me. Uh, most of them done shut down already. There's a problem in the four Gospels. All right. All right. And it is found at the end of each of the four Gospels. Amen. Jesus is crucified and now I'm dead and buried between Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. And the problem is everybody that was left because the multitude walked off when he said except ye eat of my body and drink of my flesh, ye have no part with me. They thought he was turning to a cannibal. Amen. And so the multitude, the Bible says, walked off. He's left now with just the twelve. And he looks at the twelve and said, will ye leave me also? Amen. And one of them was wise enough to answer him and say, Lord, if we leave you, where are we going to go? That's right. Seeing that you have the words of life. Amen. All of the followers now that were left after the famous Last Supper, which in and of itself is wrong because he had another supper. Amen. I'm going to get in trouble. Amen. Go ahead, go ahead. Help yourself. I got to find people that read all four Gospels. I got some theologians in here who's in school right now, I got some pastor. It was not his last supper. Right. We'll save that for Bible study. Amen. All of the true followers are now locked up and hidden away. His death has caused now for their faith and their belief in the ministry of Jesus. To stop in its tracks. Just gonna paint a picture real quick. The very thing that had driven them, the very person that had lifted them and healed them, gave them a reason to do something different besides fish. Is now gone. It is amazing now when you look at the closing of most of the Gospels that those who served him so diligently and fervently and faithfully Amen. have now stopped because Jesus is buried. Yes. Amen. We'll get to the resurrection and some, but just let me paint it. Isn't it amazing that we find ourselves at times just like them in the four gospels? Amen. Amen. When it seems like the very God that was our drive and pushed us by his spirit. All right. When it seemed like he's gone, we just stopped dead in our tracks. Amen. Amen. That's real. When, when, when what we need is seeable, we're happy. All right. When we can feel him consistent. You know how some do. They always speaking in tongues. They always, but then you know you you see the moments where they ain't got nothing. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Um, <laughs> things are seeable. We can see God moving and when we can feel him consistent. That's right. When we can recognize him where trouble is. Yeah. We're riding high with a big testimony. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Yeah. I'm on the top of the mountain. You know what that? I'm about a good work and can't come down. Hallelujah. <laughs> wow. But as soon as we can't film no more, our story changes. I'm coming. I'm taking the airplane today. We on the runway. We just ain't got to the take, take off yet. Glory. Glory to God. I want you to hear this. God wants you to understand. Yeah, check it out. 
As soon as we can't see God working, we stop. All right. As soon as we can't feel God, we stop. Yes, yes, yes. God, God forbid we can feel him and hear him for somebody else, but not for ourselves. Oh, you know that's right. we got to act. God forbid I pray for you and he move in a second. And when I pray, it's like I can't even sense him in the room. God forbid I pray for your healing for a family member or God move for something in your life and he does it and then when I get on my knees All right. for me All right. I don't see him or feel him move. Oh, yeah. All right. Lord Jesus. And we get like these disciples in the gospels but God seems dead to us we go and hide away. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh God, I love you. I guess can't nobody do it but me. You know how we do? We make up reasons why we can't come to church. That's right. That's true. That's, oh, that's right. Amen. That turbulence is something else, but we ain't even took off yet. That's you. I ain't coming because I just can't make it, Pastor. All right. Amen. Come on, Shama. But we make it to work. Amen. Oh, we're going to talk about you, disciple. Amen. Aren't you a follower? Yeah. But when things ain't feeling right, you hide away. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You disappear. Uh -huh. Because things in your life are no longer in disagreement with what you feel ought to be a life of a believer. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Here it is now, all the disciples that are left, which ain't many. Amen. And the women that are left, which ain't many. Well. Are just waiting to see when Jesus is going to find a way to escape this. Because... He's done too much. He's got too much power. He's a miracle worker. Certainly the miracles and the deliverance he wrote to others, he can work for himself. I know he ain't going to get up there and die. He's going to say something to baffle them and cause for them to have to deliberate and cause for a delay in the trial. And he's going to escape and we're going to still have Jesus. I'm used to seeing him. I'm used to talking with him. I'm used to dealing with him on an everyday basis. But now it looks like he's being taken away from me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The disciples, in a rough way, bless their heart. That this man we follow so faithfully has been betrayed, right. has been whipped. Beaten, spat upon, yeah, yeah. talked about, yeah. betrayed by folk that he helped deliver. Yeah. I'm coming for you. Yeah. And it's now in the grave. Yeah. It is amazing that we don't see any recording in Nan for the Gospels that any of the disciples say for John, the beloved disciple, uh, at the cross. All right. I'm coming for you. I got some points to make. This man who walked with them and showed them things and told them things that they had never heard or seen. You can't find them now that he's in a rough way. Yes. <laughs> he's hanging on the cross for them. And they don't even show up. They hide. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. In time of crisis, I'm just about finished. Right. It is amazing to me how we will quit. That's right. Yes, we will. And forget everything that God ever told us. Right. Can I bring it home for a few minutes? Yes, sir. Yes. I gotta close and then we leave. It. Isn't it amazing how they forgot? That Jesus talked with them. All right. Told them that he had to die 
But it wouldn't end with his death. I can't find a church that reads the Bible. And when he dies, they forget about everything that he said going to happen after. I'm coming for you. It amazes me now, first lady, mother, saints and friends, that when saints get in a crisis and it looks like everything is over, we forget everything God said is going to happen after. In Matthew 26, 32, Jesus tells them, I got to die, but after I die, I'm going to get up and meet you in Galilee. Which is where the nice church song came from. You don't get these in recordings and on uh, Barry's favorite in 2011. Uh, you got to get this from the church. They came up with the song. I promised the Lord that I will hold out until. Y'all yeah. yeah. don't know the old school church song. Till he meets me in Galilee. It is amazing to me that most of us in here, whenever it looks like everything is dead and it looks like it's buried, that we forget that God told us something gonna happen even though I'm gonna talk about you I'm gonna talk about you tell, tell somebody I'm gonna help you tell somebody I got to confess I got to confess uh -huh, I didn't forget some things that God told me when things got bad got to bring it home I knew I'd be a bad guy all over again I, I forgot that God promised me he was gonna bless me and he was gonna God was so good 
Yes. Yes. Even when I didn't make my rendezvous, oh, I got to find it. See, y'all don't like to tell the truth. Even when I didn't perform like I was supposed to, when I wasn't giving it my all, here come God still showing up. Y'all get ready to close here now. I'm going to keep turning up and let me ride a little bit. You grab somebody you can talk to for a few seconds now. We ain't staying long because I ain't got but 10 minutes left. But grab a praise about it. If it ain't a praise, leave them alone till August. But if it's a praise, talk to them. Tell them, neighbor. Y'all ain't talking. I got to find some preachers that's ready for Friday. Look at them and say, praise. The subject of today's message is. And he still showed up. You got the wrong praise for somebody. I got to find the witness. Find you another praise. I say, excuse me. I don't mean to interrupt the praise.
as I, as I get ready to close here, I found out that he showed up and everybody was there except Tom. I got to go. Mr. First show up. Aha, uh -huh, when Jesus showed up out of nowhere. They're all sitting in a room crying and falling apart. Because they still don't believe that God ain't dead. I got to find us a church apostle. I said they're falling apart now, mother. Because the one that held them together is now dead and buried according to the news. But here comes another evangelist. Man, I seen him with my own eye. And I heard him call my name. And I came by here to tell you that he wants you to meet him in Galilee. Uh -huh, but the Bible says now believe her. So he shows up mm -hmm, on the road to Emmaus and shows up the two old people and says here again, what are y'all talking about? And they say you ain't heard what's been going on in Jerusalem. Jesus is dead. And they done buried him in the tomb. And the Bible says he unblocks their eyes and they begin to recognize that Jesus ain't dead like they don't. The pride of the church that know how to celebrate their own Jesus. Look at somebody and tell them God can't be held back. If they let them nail them to the cross They pick it if you will beat all night long If they let them pierce them in the side All of the blood he lost Says he ain't got enough strength To be resurrected The beating says He ain't got enough strength To come up out of the grave with that beating He was nailed to the cross no longer any good. His feet were nailed to the cross. So I know he can't walk his way on now. But Mary declared, I saw him in my own eye. From the road to Emmaus, and said, I got to tell you a little here. We also saw Jesus, and he ain't dead like we thought. But the Bible declares they still didn't believe. Peter gets up and runs to the tomb, looks in the tomb. I got to find me a church, and said, I don't see the body. Maybe somebody stole my Jesus. Maybe somebody kidnapped him in the middle of the night. And he walks up and say it ain't possible. But he done forgot the word and the promise. And I'm on my way to Galilee. Treating me right, and I wanna tell 
some way. And it's not just about what died in my life, but it's about a rendezvous that you promised me before things got bad. Is there anybody in here that can tell the truth? Is it? 